Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bad Banana Wizard, and we are playing the Cat Lady, as uh, you clearly, clearly had noticed by now. Um, previously, we had a crazy encounter in <clears throat> Joe Davis's apartment, which led us to find out that he is not our Eye of Adam character. So now we've got Brian, who um, we just sabotaged his bike <laughs> by taking his crank. Um, we got a room with a baby and a noisy place. So we need to scare him out, Brian, I'm assuming next. So what have we got now? Got our black dress. We need to chop it up into pieces. Still got the screwdriver, which is interesting. Ah, let's go to the fourth floor. I remembered there was the power uh, supply up here with that guy that fixes it when you do stuff. So, let's see if we can stab some cables. No? Maybe do something with the electric meter? No? Use the extension cord for no reason at all. Okay. Well, that was a bogus idea. So, um, yes. I figured we wouldn't be able to do anything in there yet. So, uh, this guy is apparently busy. But there's... Let's go ahead and listen, see if we can hear him. Huh. Playing some music. Okay then. It's very busy. <laughs> yes. Let's just open it while he's there. Say hello. Can I help you? Just to bother you. You're so busy with your loud music. It's probably hiding what he's actually doing. Hmm. Okay, so let's head back down to the ground. Um, we've got the basement, which had. Uh, let's see. Let's double check in here. Because uh, we've got a screwdriver now, we can pop the paint open with. Aha! Clever girl. Clever girl. So let's go ahead and do that. So we got that ready to roll. Dun 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 dun. dun. Prize it open! It's like a trophy. <laughs> ten of paint. Take ten of paint. And. I'm just assuming we hang the dress back up to throw the paint on it because why would we throw paint on ourselves? Maybe not. Work for Joe Davis. This of course these three sixes on his bathroom door were written in real blood. Yes, very possible. Very possible. Okay, so what do we need? Well, basically we need three yes, things. Yes, I understood that. <laughs> <laughs> Ta da! Red, Red paint. paint. We've got it already. Mm -hmm. The dress will make a great costume. We just need it in black. Also, it should look damaged. That's yes. important. Cat well, Widow is a ghost after it? all. I'll need some scissors for that. We need some kind of mask. I don't want him to recognize me, obviously. Yes. Okay, so... Huh. Interesting. So, what next? Maybe we can find some clues in the mail? Mm. There's a mailbox in the hall. Clever. There is a mailbox. Perhaps we should do something with it. That's interesting that you have Mitzi here to give you ideas of what to do. No need for that now. Okay. No need to get rid of the water. It's an interesting thing to have her help you, but I've been doing good without you so far, Mitzi. But we will check the mailbox, see if we got any mail. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> use extension cord on mail. Nope. Oh, duh. 
She can Do pick. Do you think you can unlock this mailbox? Silly. I think I can most certainly unlock this mailbox. Of course. Then do it quickly. Course. Someone can come in any minute. Clever girl. Clever girl. You can do it. A little room with a mass locksmith. Yeah. <laughs> Why does she do this? This is weird. Really? Could you step away towards the stairs and turn around? Please? Makes me super suspicious, because... It's like she has a master skeleton key or something to that effect. She's not an actual lock. Master pick. criminal. If anything. Dun, 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 dun. I have picked it. I'm pro. Come. Here's all the mail. Hide it in your pockets and let's get out of here. It was mostly junk mail and leaflets. I threw those away. Yeah, so what do we got? Letter to Joe. Interesting. Yeah, what's your letter say? I think his element is Joe Shrink. Uh huh. Indeed. Letter to Pauline. Yeah. Okay, okay, not here. Let's go up to our room, I guess. Or our area. Why not? That would be awkward to be caught reading someone's mail. <laughs> be like, I just well, well. found it. Looks like Pauline is looking for a babysitter. This letter says she's supposed to interview an agency nanny later today. Uh, Great. I could be a nanny. It's certainly worth a try. But I should warn you. I don't want to have anything to do with that baby. You're gonna have to handle this on your own. Yeah. Sure, I understand. Leave it to me, Mrs. A. Okay. Hop we go. You do it, Mitzi. You do it. You do it well. Talk to her in Swedish accent. Perhaps she will be fine with that. Was that even Swedish? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> More German than anything. Uh, fun. Oh, Mitzi, the German sweet babysitter. <laughs> right. Step back. Who I'll handle like this. to be creepy and look after finding a guy in order oh. to potentially kill him. Hi. I've heard you're looking for a babysitter. Is that correct? Well, yes, that's correct. Look no further. My name is Mitzi Hunt. I'm currently a student, but I'm great with children. And I could really use a job. These school tuitions get pretty expensive these days. I... Lol. Okay, maybe. Okay, maybe. But why I mean... is Mrs. Ashworth here? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Oh, why Mrs. is she Ashworth. standing over there? Uh, hi, Pauline. Um, how are you? I'm great, thanks. I haven't seen you for ages. Awkward moment. Are you here to apply for a job as well? <laughs> no, of course not. I... Hmm. Aha. Let's see. Uh, this oh, I'm Mrs. That. Ashworth's lodger. She kindly offered me a room, and we've been living together for the last couple of weeks. I mentioned to her I was looking for a job. My parents pay for the room and school fees, but I could do with some extra spending money. Clever, clever. So, anyway, Very good story. I'm starting this course on child psychology next semester, and I thought it would be useful to get some hands-on experience with little children. My mother always says you have to get your hands dirty to learn something properly. <laughs> Not that <laughs> That's you get a weird dirty story. hands looking after babies. Just... M metaphorically speaking. <laughs> well, it can get dirty. I hope you understand the job would involve changing nappies too. Yes, of course. I don't have a problem with that. Yes, well, you sure sound enthusiastic. Would you like to come in? Yes. Both of you? It's okay. I'll wait. I could really do with your support. You know how shy I get sometimes. <laughs> yes. Well, you'll... Okay. <laughs> okay. Mitzi forcing Susan's hand. You owe me. We need <laughs> to work together on this. I'll do the talking, I promise. Mm -hmm. Fine. 
Just don't overdo it. <laughs> Clever Mitzi trying to get today. Susan to get warmed up to having interactions nearby with a child. Break her out of the problem that What a happened. nice flat! I love the wallpaper. Very retro. Um, thanks. I decorated it myself just before Alyssa was born. Please follow yeah, me. No. We can talk in the living room. Please follow me. We are very, very busy. I'll need you to drag her away. How the hell am I supposed to do that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure you can think of something. Why don't you think of something? Yeah, I yeah. told you I don't do babies. I feel so uncomfortable here. I gladly blend with this cheesy wallpaper that you like so much and disappear. I know. So do I. Do you think I know anything about babies? With this long conversation, no. you'd think but she's I'm a little suspicious why they're so not far, in the living room yet. <laughs> Look, I need you to stay cool and come up with something that'll make her leave the room. Got it? But that's where the problem is. I can't think of anything. Just play it by ear, yeah? Yeah. Play it by ear. What is that a baby? Hmm. His face is missing. Hmm. That is a good point. Very, very good point. I should let you know from the start that looking after a toddler is not an easy task. They're just beginning to crawl, they're very curious, and sometimes they can cry for no apparent reason. And my Alyssa, well, she is a very noisy child. Did you have any previous experience with children? Nah. Then let's just try to be as honest as possible, because the obvious choice would be to Not boost really, ourselves and make us I'm think we have learner. experience. Oh. I'm not going to lie to you. That's not great. <laughs> I don't really have time to teach you. I'm already so busy. You seem like a nice girl, though. And I suppose Mrs. Ashworth here will give you some basic training. I'd like to get back to work soon, you see. Just part-time for now. That's why I need someone to stay with her. Mm. I'm not going to find it easy to be apart from Alyssa. But my career has always been important to me as well. They won't wait for me forever. If I don't do this now, they'll just replace me. Aye, such is the way of things. Where do you work? I'm a hotel manager. It's a very oh, competitive wow. industry, but I've always loved it. I miss it a lot. And you live here. <laughs> mm. That just isn't enough support for working parents. Tell me about it. If I don't get back to work in two weeks' time, they will cut my maternity pay in half. Nice. So I haven't really got a choice. It's either this or Alyssa and me will face the life in poverty. Hmm. Where's Alyssa's dad? Do you mind me asking? I... I'd rather not talk about it. It's personal. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, Alyssa hasn't got a father. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. No, it's alright, but I just don't like talking about it. Hmm. I'm sure you'll understand. Understandable. I have a great connection with kids. I'm sure I can manage with Alyssa. Okay, I don't doubt that. How about, would you like to hold Alyssa for a minute? We should probably see if she likes you first. I... It's a good point. Yes, definitely. Don't want to have someone but taking care of your kid that can't do it. I ought to wash my hands first. Your yeah. hands? My hands. I must have touched a million things on my way here. As much as I want to hold her, I just don't think it's safe, you know? Really? What have you been touching? Oh, you know, just <laughs> ordinary things, this and that. You look pretty clean. I'm sure it'll be okay. <laughs> well, if you must know, I... Hmm, stroked a filthy dog. Let's spit all like the homeless man inside. <laughs> Gotta wash hands with you in the toilet. <laughs> That'd be funny. Hmm. What's well, a good choice? 
What's a good choice? Yeah, let's I do the dog. I a filthy looking dog. Oh. If that's the case, then I would very much prefer that you wash your hands. It's I'll very show true. you to the bathroom. Very, very true. Would you mind answering the door for me? Sure. No problem. <laughs> it's probably just my friend Kate. Just let her in, please. Is that okay? The bathroom's this way. Follow me. Okay, then. So things develop. I highly what doubt it's her friend. Say? Seriously. Do something. Okay. Anything. Fine. I'll do something. Make sure you scrub those dirty hands really well. I need <laughs> a bit of time. Very good scrubbing. I highly doubt it's your friend. I suspect some crazy, crazy person. Let's see. Guy on a few of them. Yeah, the face cut out. Yep. Okay, let's say hello. Oh, you're rather large compared hello. to the rest of the characters. <laughs> Interesting. Hello. You're very threatening looking. Are you Kate? I've been sent by the agency. My name is Rita Tickle. May I come in, please? Rita Tickle. <laughs> That's agency? Funny. What agency? The Happy Nanny Babysitter's Agency, of course. We bring mm -hmm. fun and professionalism into child minding at a discount price. A discount May I come in, price. please? <laughs> Wait, just hang on a second. I believe we have an appointment. It was confirmed by post. Didn't you get a letter? Hang on, I said. Hmm. Yes, position I'm sorry. Been taken. The position has already been taken. Oh, great. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? I'm sure. I'm a pushy Thanks salesperson. See ya. Wait, wait, wait. There must have been some kind of mix up. No, mix -up. there wasn't a mix up. <laughs> You're just too late. It's like Mr. Right. McGrew. I better call the office and find out what happened. Hmm. Okay then. They are serious about their babysitting. Are you over here? Are you over there? Who knows? Who knows? Hmm. Could cut the power. That'd be a nice way to handle things. Huh. Interesting. So who was it at the door? Who are we going to say that it was? Hmm. That is a huge TV. <sighs> That's crazy. The baby, all alone. On a bed. Odd. Ooh, scissors. I will take those. <laughs> Laying on the bed across from the child. Yes. That's what I thought. <laughs> Yoink. Photos. Aha, uh -huh. so she was still cutting the photos. Great. Hmm. Why must I hurry? What am I hurrying? doing? Cut. Nothing. Examine. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Oh, well, what do I do? What do I do? So, was it my friend at the door? No, just some door-to-door -door salesman. Well, I hope you told him to go to hell. I honestly don't know what these people are thinking. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I'm sure it's Kate this time. I'll let her in if you'll excuse me for a minute. Uh -huh. Wait! Wait! <laughs> Aren't clean enough? Um. Yeah, yeah, I do that one. I think I forgot to turn the tap off in the bathroom. Although there's two people in there, oh, so that's... that's okay, don't worry. Probably Would you mind going back to the bathroom and turning it off while I answer the door? Yes, yes. Oh, <laughs> you get multiple choices then. That's fine. I'm oh, feeling really sick all of a sudden. Oh. Do you think you're actually going to throw up? Yes, definitely. Oh, yes. 
quickly go back to the bathroom. I don't mean to be rude, but this is a very expensive carpet. Will you come with me? Please, what if I faint? I, I'm scared. Everything's just spinning around. <laughs> Can Mrs. Ashworth go with you for a change? It's okay. <laughs> I'll answer the door and let your friend in, yeah? Well... This is awkward. <laughs> Fine. I'll put Alyssa in her bed for a minute and I'll come with you. It's that dirty dog you were touching, isn't it? Oh, poor thing. <laughs> awkward moments. Very strange. This is weird. This is probably going to escalate into some crazy insanity. Oh, boy. Hello again. It's you. you. Again? Hello. Hello. Is this flat number eight? My name is Rita Tickle from the Happy Nanny Agency. <laughs> May I come in, please? <laughs> there you Look, go. sweetheart, I'm sorry, I can't help you. You are looking for a nanny, yeah? No, not anymore. I have 10 years experience and training in child discipline techniques <laughs> and behavioural psychology. Also, I am known for good personal hygiene, strong work ethics, and I only take one break every five hours. <laughs> Just to use the restroom. <laughs> wow, that sounds really great, but I don't need your services. You don't need a nanny. <laughs> no. How thick are you? I've decided to give my baby up for adoption. <sighs> You're an evil person. <laughs> You'll go to hell for doing that to your baby. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I'm evil. But you're thick. <laughs> yes, I had mentioned that. Although she's probably saying it in a different way. <laughs> wow, that's funny. Um, yeah, I don't think I need the scissors here. I think the scissors are used for the dress, and only the dress. And we're probably not going to get anywhere with this. Yeah, and maybe not, nothing to do with that. I'm gonna chop up that computer. Chop, chop. <laughs> I'm gonna chop up the baby. Let's chop up her scissors some more. Okay. Probably nothing I can do here. She's probably not vomiting. And. What do we do now? What to do we do now? Hmm. Okay. What are we doing? What are we doing? Eh, let's just leave. Why not? Why not? Let's just see if we can cut this cable. That'd be fun. Pure suicide. <laughs> I don't want to do that anymore. Okay, then. So. Well, we can't leave. Hmm. Let's step it on his door. Let's play with this. Why not? See what happens. Let's see if we can do anything with it. Since that's off, perhaps. We These can cut scissors it. seem sharp enough. Let's create some diversion. Mm -hmm. I hope this is what Mitzi had in mind. Yeah. I hope it doesn't go... That'd be bad. Ooh, mysterious music. Oh, not that again. What happened to the lights? <laughs> I'm, what happened to the I'm lights? I'm terrified of the dark. I'm scared. I, 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 I can't move. She's not selling oh, herself as a good babysitter. <laughs> Calm down, it's alright. Probably just that stupid meter. It must have run out of money again. It's not even that dark. Please, you've got to do something about it. I, th I think <laughs> I'm going to faint. You're a bad babysitter. Fine, just stay in my bedroom. There'll still be plenty of sunlight there at this time of the day. I'll go outside and put some money on the meter. It'll only take a minute. 
Hmm. It's a strange and interesting concept, having money meters outside. And use that uh, What do you know? Right. Let's do it. I. Luckily, she has a laptop you, and a personal Alfred? computer. What happened? Um, no idea. Maybe it's a blackout, like in the old days. It's probably just the meter. Let me see. Hmm. Then she'll find out someone's cut my wire. So it's not her either. Uh -huh. A waste of time. So leave. This interview is over. Yes. Very good point. That's why am I Mitzi now? I feel something strange. It's going to happen. Not going into the kitchen. Let's go on out. I don't get it. The cable's been cut. But why would anyone do that? I think we're going to go now. This whole power cut gave me a terrible headache. Is that you, Mitzi? That'd be awkward if we just left but all of a sudden. we haven't finished yet. Have you changed your mind oh. about the job? No, of course not. There's another person here. I'm just scared of darkness. And I still feel sick, you know. Hmm. Perhaps we can continue some other time. I've had it. I'm getting a new fuse box. <laughs> Was that you, Jesse? Yeah. How are you doing, Pauline? Well, I we need the power back. Can you do something? Yeah, I can easily fix that. There's an electrical store that's open till late. I'll get some stuff and I'll be back before you know it. Hmm. Bear in mind He's it's not whiz. just a fuse box, mm -hmm. it's a cable this time. I'll get a new cable too, don't worry. But in the meantime, go home, find some candles and chill, yeah? Thanks, Jesse. That's awfully nice of you. He is a nice guy. Well, you know, it was great you know. seeing you, but we're going to leave now. Hello. <laughs> Who's that? My name is Rita Tickle. Rita who? What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Do you know this woman, Mrs. Ashworth? I've never seen her before in all my life. <laughs> yes, and then we left. Fancy that. <laughs> this is now crazy. Now she'll think we are absolutely crazy. Yeah. I wouldn't worry too much. You're not exactly the most popular neighbor in the house anyway. It's very true. Very, very true. Thanks. What? You don't actually <laughs> care what those idiots think, do you? My name's no. Rita Tickle. Of course not. <laughs> uh, it's just that it's a good character. Pauline seems all right. Very funny. I'm not too proud of causing her all this trouble. It'll get fixed soon. Look, Jesse's gone out. We can now get inside uh -huh, Flat 7 and see right. what he's been up to. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. We can also cross Pauline off the list. I've searched through her internet history, and needless to say, there's nothing exciting there. 